So, in any case, anybody thinks I've gotten lost. Oh, hey, everybody. This is my storage area. <laughs> it's fairly big. And there's a lot of stuff in here. And so far, we've gotten this much stuff gone through. Yeah, a lot of stuff is saying keep, but I don't have room for it, so I'm going to have to go through it again. I still got to go through pink tote, black tote, green tote is donate. So I've gone through this row, purple tote, blue tote, green tote. Still got to go through those. That's donate, that's donate, that's donate. Um, that row's donate. And then there's all of this, which I realized that... I've probably not even been showing you because I've been looking at it, not through the camera. Okay, back up. Start over. Um, okay. This row has been gone through. Besides that brown box right there, which is going to my brother, those totes all say keep. They're books and stuff. I have to go through it again. Um, this tote is books that I have to go through again because some of them I'm probably never going to read. That box is going to my brother. That's going home for CDs. This is donate. Those two I still need to go through. This is going to my brother. This I think is is mm, I think donate because that's the rest of my CDs um the green toad is donate I still have to go through these three then this row I think is all donate this is stuff that I'm keeping that's old pictures that table I want to keep, I have no place for. And it has to be redone. Because it got put in storage upside down and the, on a box. And then there was a flood. My dad made it. So, there is some sentimental value there. A whole lot of sentimental value. So, I'm, you know, not sure what to do. Anyway, so starting with this row right here and going around to here, because that's empties right there. That stuff all still needs to be gone through. I wanted to be out of here by the end of the month. I have a doctor appointment tomorrow. My Uncle James is coming on Thursday. I do not know what time. And I'm leaving on Friday to go to Iowa. Unless something changes between now and then. Um, so yeah, not getting out here this month. My brother did send me a check to pay for next month. So there's that. There's a little leeway. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is one of the hardest things I've ever done. And I'm, I've had help. You know, can't say that I haven't had help because I have. Oh my gosh, I think I just found more CDs. Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> whoops um anyway um yeah I've had help with getting things down and kind of deciding what I need to go through and that kind of stuff but I'm over here going through pictures by myself and 
Oh my gosh, some of them are just heartbreaking. Because, you know, there's pictures of my mom that are just, oh, they're beautiful pictures. And just, oh, I'll have to show you guys some when I get home. But I'm over here pretty much, pretty much every day for three or four hours trying to, and yesterday I was over here, oh gosh, four hours, and I think I went through, I went through this box and this box, and... I think there was another small one. And they were just full of pictures. And I've got to go through this one. Which. I guess I will sit here. Once I find my knife. It's in my purse. And. Show you maybe some of the pictures because I know some of them are in here. You ever try to go through it? Open a knife one handed? Ain't easy. And I'm sorry this is shaky, but I'm holding holding the phone and opening a pocket knife. That was my dad's. Yeah. I always hold have a pocket knife of daddy's in my purse. So I always have a little bit of daddy with me. This was my late sister Trina's purse. So I always have that with me. I don't always carry it. Sometimes it's under the seat, empty. Which is, you know, crazy, I know. And yes, I know I'm cutting towards me with a knife towards my legs. But hey, at least I lose some weight, right? Probably not the weight I need to lose. But anyway. So here we go. I just didn't want y'all to think I had forgotten about you or anything because I know I need to do a whipping chat. And so right now you're getting a storage and chat. Let me close the knife because it's safety first. At least, at least an old pocket knife's a lot easier to close than the knives they've got these days that require two hands. And, Pushing some button you can't remember where it is and all that stuff. Okay. So, we have maybe not the pictures I was thinking of, but you never know. This, I have no idea. It's a boat in Japan. Okay, old pictures. Old pictures. This was my mama's family. Why is my, why are my fingers in the way? Probably because the camera's in a spot I didn't realize it was. Okay, this was my mama's family when they first got back together. Um, the youngest four were put up for adoption. And the youngest one was not in this picture. So this was before he got there, I'm guessing. So the two girls on the left and the boy in the middle were adopted out and raised as cousins, interestingly enough. thought that was kind of fun. Um, This is a box of really old pictures from who knows when. Some of them more recent than others. These old typewriter. Yeah, not the pictures I was thinking. some really old ones. Like this one. No clue who those people are. 
doesn't oh does say this is Ethel and Grant Dillon who are somewhere in my family way up the chain of ancestors I think on daddy's side because that's grandma's writing so, there's that but yeah look at all little pictures this is again people I do not know never met obviously because they're this is Cypress and Etha Wells who are again from my grandma Maine's family which was my dad's mom Stuff I'm gonna have to sort through and sort out the stuff that goes to my brother and stuff that would be going to my sister goes to my nephew. Mom and Dad way back when nieces. I'm sure we're not want me to put them on YouTube. Although my nieces, one of my nieces is on YouTube. Oh, okay. This is where my dad worked in England. It's called the Elephant Cage. That was when we were stationed in um, Chick Sands. This was their 50th year anniversary. That was a long time ago. So yeah. Like I said, not the box of pictures I was thinking it was. Mama says it's a duplicate, so I have to figure it is. But again, this is from my cousin. She got married. But yeah, that's. That's what I get to do today, is go through a box of pictures. I'm sure you were just enthralled with looking at that. And then I'll pick another box and go from there. So, yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And I'd like to be totally out of storage. I'm not sure if I will ever get totally out of storage. I may have to keep some stuff here, but maybe find a smaller unit. I know they've got some. In fact, I know they've got some back. Back over here. I'd like to stay close to the door. I keep putting my finger right in your way. I'm sure you're just loving seeing my picture, my finger. So they've got some. They make these things so hard to open, and I don't know why. You'd think if they were empty, they'd just leave the slides open, but they don't. I don't want to show you how small these are, but...
me and my stupid ideas, right? Anyway, these are much smaller. Yeah, my camera probably going, what the hell is she trying to do? <clears throat> There's a whole trick to it and everything. You gotta push down on the door and stand on your head. Used to be in that unit right there and it, it's huge. Anyway. So if I could get a smaller unit, maybe depending on the price. This one, when I first started getting this one, it was 50 bucks. That was not so bad. They raised their rates to 80. I'm like, that's crazy. 80 bucks for this. I would say it's a five by 10, maybe. Maybe, maybe a five by seven, I don't know. I'm not gonna lay down in it and try to measure it, so. Anyways, now that I'm out of breath, and I could have sworn this was longer than 16 minutes, but anyway, you get the gist. I'm over at storage, and yeah, that's a cart full of my stuff. Some of it's trash. Some of it needs to go to my house. Um, I bought light bulbs. Came over here, found two boxes of light bulbs, and yeah. So I don't need light bulbs forever. But found lots of stuff. There's that tote on the bottom's all baking stuff, which, you know, some of it I use, some of it I probably won't use. Some of it will probably go to my niece. Which niece I don't know. Bunch of them, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, so. I got a lot of stuff, more stuff than any person needs to have. And then you go to my house and I got a lot more stuff. So, oh, get this. Talbert's mom said in a comment to um, Grace that I had over 200 diamond paintings. I'm like, I wish. <laughs> oh, well, I yeah, I don't have that many. I have yeah, maybe 50 you know, of the ones that I want to do. And then I have a box of ones that I somehow collected that are not high on my list of priorities and I could give away or sell and would not miss them. But if I run out of things that I want to do, then I have things I can do. So, yeah. Anyway. Okay. I'm going to let y'all go because you're probably tired of staring at the floor and there's nothing exciting going on in there other than there's a lot of totes and they aren't jumping off the shelf to to be gone through are they i'm gonna go through this box of pictures and divide them up and decide what to do with them and then i'm gonna upload this video and hopefully I will be back to diamond painting soon because I miss it. But when I get home, I'm tired and I sit on the couch and I snuggle Maddie and we tend to watch something on TV and I, either I doze off or I just kind of stare and yeah, I waddle off to bed sometime after midnight, get up and do it all over again. So, anyway, I will talk at y'all later. I hope everybody has a good day. I think I forgot to say hi to everybody. So, hi everybody. Bye everybody. Um, hope everybody has a had a great weekend, and hope your week it, week goes well. And I will talk to y'all later. I might do an on the road video if I can get my my little thing 
hooked up so you can see down the road. Yeah, that'll be exciting. Be a lot of cornfields. So, anyway, I love y'all, and I will talk at y'all later. Bye.